Hey honeys, it's King Brittany Chanel. Definitely like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I want to talk to y'all about Offset on this internet. Honey's talking about baby come back. I miss you. He is like saying, I'm telling Cardi I miss you on this internet and the internet is not having it. They saying Offset, you try to blame us. We about to get back at you. Let's get into the commentary. What is up, y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. So I got some honey for y'all today. I wanted to talk about this situation in, um, regarding Cardi and Offset again, okay? So Cardi, you know, she is like, you know, has glowed up. She's nominated for like, what, five Grammy nominations. She's living her best life. And basically Twitter is like somebody come and get offsets lonely a off the internet. That's what Twitter is saying. So let me read to y'all um, what's going on. And it's from the grapevine dot the root dot com. And it says somebody gathers uh gather offsets lonely a rapper pines for Cardi off of this internet. That's what they're saying. But you know, it's only natural, like you know, if his wife left him because of what ha what happened. He's supposed to want his wife. I would be shocked if he wasn't somewhere saying, baby, come back. You could blame it all on me. I would be surprised if he wasn't doing that, y'all. So anyway, this was written by Ann Brannigan. Um, and this was posted at 9.52 a.m. today. And basically, uh, what it says here, it says, well, well, well. Since it allegedly... Uh, it's allegedly our fault. You know, that means all the media bloggers who was talking about this whole cheating scandal, like, with Offset allegedly, you know what I mean? Uh, that Offset couldn't keep his Migo in his pants. I guess it's also contingent upon us to help broadcast his love to his estranged wife, Cardi B. On Sunday, honey, the shade, the shade, the shade, honey. On Sunday... The 26-year-old Migos rapper tweeted a missive uh, to the rest of us, and it says, announce it to the world, F y'all, I miss Cardi. And as you may recall, if you were <laughs> within spitting distance of the internet, Cardi announced their split last week. Y'all remember, I played the video for y'all, and she was basically saying, they falling out of love. You know, she's business partners with him. She loves him because he's, you know, her daughter's father. And she just basically was like, you know, um, they haven't been, they've been trying to work it out, but it just, it's not working. So pretty much he posted F y'all, I miss Cardi on Twitter. And it's okay, y'all. So according to gossip news sites like The Blast, TMZ, things came over ahead um, over Offset's cheating ways. And TMZ uh, cited leaked text messages between Offset and Cuban Doll. Now, I don't know if it was between Offset and Cuban. From what I saw, it was like him texting Summer Bunny or and she was crying on the internet about, you know, oh, I didn't know how serious their marriage was. <laughs> and doing all of that with no tears. Like, girl, please. And... Basically, the blast reported that the text in which he attempted to arrange a threesome, obviously not involving his wife, who has made it good and deep well clear what the lineup would be if she were involved, were the straw that broke his marriage's back. Now, it says here, and this is them making a joke, hey, at least Ray J's in his corner, because if there's one person Offset needs support from, it's from another flammable dumpster or wayward Dickscapade. I'm done with these people on the route in, in the grapevine, honey. They are, honey, they are shading today. And then it says, um, and then it says, while the world's smallest violin continues to play for offset, Barty is flourishing. As U.S. Weekly uh, reports, the Bronx hit maker delivered her first performance since announcing their split at the Jingle Ball in New York City on Friday. She even made some adjustments to her lyrical repertoire, tweaking the line from Motorsport to collab with Migos and Nicki Minaj that originally went, I get up, I get upset, I turn offset on, I told him the other day, man, we should sell that porn. And she changed that, y'all. She changed the line in Motorsport to, I get off, I get upset off, I turn offset on. I told him the other day, yeah, we gonna get a divorce. 
and looks like Cardi won. So Cardi is like, Babu. Now, I don't know if they're over for good, but Cardi could be trying to do this to teach Offset a lesson. That's what I'm getting from it. Like, you've been playing way too much. And she said, I guess on like a couple of songs, you're going to be, I think, um, be careful. She's like, you're going to lose your wife. And then she was not playing, I guess, when she said that. So I want to know, what are y'all's thoughts on this whole situation where Cardi's saying, you know, changing the line from motorsport to, I, you know, I get upset on, I turn offset on. I told him the other day, we're going to get a divorce. She switched that to that line. I don't know if that, honey, I don't know if this is true. <laughs> and then the people on Twitter, y'all, are like, sir, for the second time, we did not do anything. They are roasting Offset online, y'all. They are like, sir. And then somebody said, don't nobody miss their girl like a nigga that did absolutely nothing to keep her. There it is. And then somebody said, well, he hasn't delved down to the Robin Thicke levels of sad clownishness and put out an album, but it's still early. I'm here for it. Oh, we're okay, so... You know, maybe he didn't know. You don't, sometimes you don't know what you have until you lose it. And I just, you know, I, I just want to give the advice to do not be acting foul out here and then you lose your significant other and then you up on the internet pleading with everybody and sending bird calls, pigeon calls, and messages back and forth. Because we ain't doing it on the internet today. We not doing that. It's Brittany Chanel, a.k.a. King Chanel. You already know. Yes, I said King. Chanel, you already know. Hit that subscribe button if you like videos like this. And definitely stay tuned for more videos, y'all. Love you. Bye.